man, I don't know what happened in the last, like, hour of me kind of being awake and moving around, but I've gone from totally feeling normal to just, ugh. And I figured what a better time to go through good old Arkansas as I uh, sit here wondering in the middle of my three-day weekend if this is actually a uh, cold that's coming on or if it's just something else. But this be the, the, the good old state of Arkansas. I don't know why. It's a joke. You, if you hear a lot of people say, it's got Kansas in the name, but we say, we don't call this Kansas. We don't call this Arkansas. But you do with whatever you can. I don't understand the reasoning behind it. I've never been to Arkansas. Here's 82. Where's Hamburg? All right. So I've got the road at least. <clears throat> so I'm going to zoom in a smidge. And uh, try to find Junction 160, US 165. I have a uh, pretty good idea, I think, of where I'm supposed to be. Although I am not seeing 165 anywhere, which is... There it is. But, oh, we go up here. Hamburg's that way. Okay, I think... I have a good idea as to where we are. I'm going to click there for now and uh, get to this intersection. Maybe get a better idea as to where we are. But how's your weekend been? I don't know if you watching this have a uh, three-day weekend like I do for the... Okay. So we're down here. U.S. Junction 165. 11 miles. I think this is it. Am I confusing myself? I very well could be. We're on 82 now. Two miles to Snyder. I think I got it. I think we're like... here. It's been a uh, low-key weekend. Not <clears throat> much going on. Um, it was awful. On five miles to Montrose. Where's Montrose? Okay, I think I've got it. Um, being, I think I mentioned in the last video that there was going to be snow coming up, and it was a uh, quite the wake up call as far as uh, getting to work on Friday was, just because where I live, uh, it's a bit of a drive even on perfect conditions, but. I don't know if there's a mathematical equation out there for um, the amount of time you're going to be delayed for work increases, I don't know, exponentially or whatever, with the more other people you come in contact with, come across in their own individual vehicles. Um, now, I'll, I'll explain, but the thing I'll grant them is that this kind of caught everybody off guard. There was a quite a little snowstorm that hit right in the middle of me commuting to work on Friday, and no one had a lot of people didn't have their snow tires, anything else like that. And there's a lot of hills between me and the 40 minute drive I have into work, um, and a lot of cars just couldn't get up the hills at all. Oh God, I've falling apart here. A little too far south. That is a weird ass lake. Um and it was just the second I hit this one little small town, it went from like a little light snow to just this massive fucking bliss blizzard. Four four four. I'm gonna need a bit more information before I can uh make a assessment here. But I got to the roads. It got real shitty real quick. And I'm just like, ooh boy, I'm a little nervous this morning. 
and making decent and safe progress. And a thing you should know if you don't really live in snow and in hills is if you do not have the proper tires for it and the momentum on a uncleared road, it's very possible that you're just going to get stuck. And when you get stuck and it's on a very well-traveled road, everyone else behind you is going to get stuck and it just causes a traffic jam. Accidents, I'm sure you've seen photos. If you ever look at like blizzard hits certain part of wherever and it's causing accidents. It's usually some of the stuff is from that one person not um, prepared. Well, Jonesboro is over here, so I feel like we're around this area. I saw Gibson, I think it said, right? I'm going to go back and look. And that's basically what happened. There was just one particular vehicle that uh, didn't get momentum, got stuck halfway up a hill, causing every other car around it to basically do the same thing. Um, and before I ended up just being stuck in the middle of a busy road, one lane busy road I should mention, I was like, all right, yeah, I'm just, I'm just going to turn around. And Barry uncomfortably made the ride back again. It was fucking... A little hairy, but, you know, I'm on the wait list I'm trying to get my uh, snow tires put on my car so I can not have this be an issue, but I uh, drove all the way back to a small little town that's essentially just a general store and a library. And I sat there. I'm like, all right, you know, plow trucks are going to come through. It might have caught everybody off guard, but, you know, they're going to slowly plow trucks out, and, uh, oh, North 49, Jonesboro's there, here's North 49, so I gotta look for Gibson, over in this region, how far was Jonesboro, nine miles, okay, well, 49 can also be down here, okay, and the longer I waited, more it snowed, and the more I didn't see any uh, any plow trucks come through. And that little issue that happened with that one road, there's a bunch of little hills in between. All of that happened there, and it just caused accident upon accident there. And I pretty much couldn't do anything. Okay, we were just coming off 49, so... Does this say what road this is? South 49. Or is this the detour? Yeah, this could be a detour. Don't be pointing, buddy. Not polite. Okay, so they're making this into a four lane? Maybe? Oh no. Interesting. But I got tired of waiting, so I was like, I'm going to drive home. Turns out, can't drive south back to where my apartment is because accident's there. Holy. I didn't make a guess that whole time. I didn't make a guess. <laughs> oh, what a, what a rough morning. What an awful awful morning this has turned into. That was probably my last gimme I'm going to get because these are going to be real difficult. I'm just too busy talking about stupid cars being stuck in the road. Anyway, long story short, I was stuck in this parking lot in the small town for three and a half hours. Then I finally said, fuck it, I'm going to try to make a detour to get back home. And the second I got outside the this little band, right along this road, roads were immaculate. I'm like, what the fuck happened? Why was all the bad snow just hyper-focused on this one little spot? I'm so mad. I've completely fucking just forgot to click a goddamn spot on the map. That's all I had to do. Oh. It's Monday. Granted, this Monday is actually a uh, um day off, but, you know, the, the rule still applies. This pain behind my eyeball's not gone away. 
I don't know what it's done. <clears throat> but it's just something I'm dealing with in this fucking eight mile long dirt road. I'm turning real sour real quick here. I don't want to, but it's happened just because I can't put a freaking click down on a road. Like if I had to rank things for things that annoy me the most that actually make it to a video you see because there's a lot of times where things won't record right, you know, shit like that, that annoys me, but you don't see those ones. Um, when I don't click on a spot, that's like number one. Number two is getting the country wrong like I did with the Belgium thing. I didn't know that there was this long of a strip of dirt road in Arkansas. And I don't know, if I had to guess a region, I'm just going to say Ozarks and see if I'm right. I have no idea. Click like here. Ugh, is this a road or a dead end? Both? Oh man, now I'm feeling sick. This is just a combo. I should probably drink some water. Maybe that would help. Here we see a very dirty yard. A trampoline. I didn't know that having a trampoline, if you actually have a house, um, it makes your home insurance go up, even with the, like, um, thing to put around it. I think it's still bad. Oh, God, maybe the thing I ate this morning is, like, very angry with my stomach. I don't know. I don't think I'm ever going to get out of here. This feels very much just like a constantly, randomly generated dirt road generator that you can just never get out of. Let me get out of here. Is this a, it, it, oh, there's a bridge, and by bridge it looks like a piece of sheet metal just over a, uh, crick, I guess this is called? Seems real safe. Well, this, oh yeah, 2400, huh? Oh god, well at least this is, uh, <clears throat> improvement on a, uh, Madison County. Am I in Madison County? Where did the counties even fucking start here? 2,400. Oh, I was close. Right near Purdy. I don't care. Control W. <clears throat> Just the middle of fucking nowhere. Can't believe I didn't click that one. God. That bugs me. Are you going to let me go in their yard? Nope. All right. We're going to head this way. Okay, we're not going to hit. Okay, we are. All right. I thought that was just a dead end. And we were stuck here. Oh, excuse me. I am tired, apparently. Man, this this is... uh, And I turned to shit my energy and... Um, energy. <laughs> um, yeah, it's been a bad morning. And I really don't have a reason for it to be. It's just kind of turned out that way. Share the road. Only if you tell me where we are. What is this, Wiley? Well, don't do this to me. You're doing this to me, aren't you? Mother. Neely. Like Wells Chapel or something? All right. At least there's more things to look at here. We have... Keller's Chapel. Um, so, this seems to be City Water and Light. Um, we're near a potential city, if the cemetery says where we are. Keller's Chapel. Alright, where's Keller's Chapel? This seems to be a thing. We're gonna do a little look like this. If you want to see how weird this state shaped. Oh. 
my stomach is not happy. Arkadelphia. It's a good name. Okay, I don't see Chapel City anywhere. Or Chapel. Neil's Keller's. Whatever. Fucking chat. What it's called. Alright, so. Let's continue on and maybe find a uh, root. Then that might help me a bit. I mean, you can call this a city, whether or not it actually is. You know, it's a completely different point. Let's see if this road sign says where we are. Southwest Drive. That does not help me. Ellers Chapel. Uh, I'm going this way. Please. Something here tell me where we are. I've got a minute left. Treasure hunt flea market, huh? I don't know if it's because it's called flea market. I'm sure there's some other meaning behind it, but I don't want to buy someone else's stuff from a thing called flea market. I don't I don't want any fleas. It's 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 awful. Very much like I can't find this goddamn road name anywhere. Oh god, we've been yawning now. This is I'm unprofessional. I am sorry. Southwest Drive. This doesn't help me. This should be like a route. Keller's Chapel. I have 20 seconds left, and I've not seen anything else besides... Alright, we're gonna put ourselves outside Little Rock, maybe. I'm not gonna find Keller's Chapel anywhere. Here am I. I'm just randomly meandering, looking to see if it just pops up. Jonesboro. No, I don't. Stop. <clears throat> Keller's Chapel doesn't even pop up. So it wasn't even a town. So there was no point. Oh, man, my po score is a bit skewed here just because of how... um. Un unattentive... Un un pay attentioning I was but you know it's what I got scores a score what do we got Pleasant Hill no I don't think it's going to be named after the town usually they're not Sardis alright well we're in the town or city of Sardis problem is that doesn't help me I need Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. Give me. What's that say? Oh, repo double wide. Nice. They repossessed a trailer. Double wide trailer, too. That's a uh, pretty good haul. Sardis. None of these things help me, Sardis. I need a root sign. Anything here. There's the Arkansas flag. I don't know the logic behind it, really. I mean, maybe all the stars that surround, I think, the image of the state is whatever number state it is in the United States. Probably wrong, but it's a guess I'm willing to take. Ooh, what restaurant we got? Country Kitchen, Farm and Table, and Vintage Market. We've got just an ice vending machine, <clears throat> as my throat now refuses to work. Sardis. Um, I don't think I'm going to get to any root signs here that are going to help me. Kind of hoping it would. I've spent half my time getting nowhere. There is a sign here. Maybe this can tell me something. Nope, just Greenwood Estates. Great. Um, come on. This. You have to have like a connection with some root or something that would help me, but I'm not, not getting anything. What about. 
here. Nope. This is still Sardis. Okay, I'm just going to try to get, if I can, out of town and maybe get to another intersection with a route. And then hopefully the next minute, kind of figure out where we are. But, you know, I'm very much not holding out any hope of finding where the frig this place is. Because this is one really long road. Okay, we've got emerging, but that doesn't help me. McPherson. Uh, all right, I'm going to spend, if I don't see it in 30 seconds, I'm going to spend the last 30 seconds just frantically combing the uh, map to see if I can't find it. All right, I can't. Here we go. Sorry, it is. 20 seconds. I have to make a guess somewhere. Uh, I'm going to say we're over here. Just so I don't forget to friggin' click a thing here. Marmaduke. There, I'm gonna be probably opposite side of the state. And I deserve the shitty score I'm gonna get this time because, uh, I'm bad. 346. Oh, uh, what a bad, bad round. I completely forgot to guess one. And I was pretty close, too. I bet you that probably would have put me over 13. If not 12, at least. Um, but this holds the record for worst round. Knowing state so far, but that's going to do it. I'm going to go limp through the rest of my um, weekend. And uh, see you back here on Wednesday. But again, I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any map suggestions, comments, questions, concerns, complaints, or anything else you would want me to try out, it doesn't even have to be GeoGuess, there can be other stuff as well. Just put them in the comments below. I will look at them and figure out what I'll do. But for now, um, have a good start to your week. I'll see you here on Wednesday. Maybe sounding worse. Who knows? I don't.